A political firestorm igniting over tweets posted by the Arizona GOP Twitter account. Linda Williams is joining us live now with more. Linda. You guys, some people viewing these local tweets as inflammatory, but the Arizona GOP telling me that Twitter itself has deemed those tweets put out by the local GOP did not violate any policies. Here's what those tweets did do. They got a whole lot of attention on Twitter, not just locally, but nationally as well. The tweet posted by the Arizona GOP's official Twitter account before midnight Monday shows a clip from a Rambo movie with the quote, this is what we do, who we are, live for nothing or die for something. The tweet has since been deleted. A follow up Arizona GOP retweet says, quote, I am willing to give my life for this fight. I guess I'd say one of my initial reactions was wondering if the uh, uh, Twitter page had been hacked uh, by by somebody. T.J. Shope, a Republican House representative, says the tweet went too far. He says it's not just about hot political rhetoric. He says there is a potential economic impact here for the state of Arizona. Shope says businesses look for stability in markets they are scouting to move to or invest in. This is a headline from Forbes Business magazine today about the Arizona GOP's tweet. You know, the tone and the tenor in which you ask those questions are being watched by, by folks in an economic perspective, things like that, how people perceive Arizona, et cetera, uh, going forward. Shope says he's been a Donald Trump supporter and believes there's plenty of room to investigate Arizona's election without getting to the level of the GOP's tweet. He says it's a distraction to local GOP efforts to investigate the Arizona election and may have economic repercussions as well. Linda Williams, Fox 10 News. Earlier this afternoon, Arizona Governor Doug Ducey sending out this tweet saying, quote, the Republican Party is the party of the Constitution and the rule of law. We prioritize public safety, law and order, and we respect the law enforcement officers who keep us safe. We don't burn stuff down. We build things up. 